Manganini, one good evening and all. We are back in the desert here, live and exclusive to YouTube. I am your host, Wishbone, for the remainder of the evening, and the chat box is open in that direction. Already got Aristojack in there saying hi. Glad to be back tonight. How are we doing? All good here so far? It's the long weekend. Four days off. Oh, yes. All good. Also, good evening to Chris, who's asking how everyone's doing, and same to Avian as well. It is indeed Friday. You have lovely no work Friday. Same here, and it's been immense. Absolutely loved it. Oh, okay. I thought there was going to be I could have cut a dramatic cutscene then, but nope, there's not. So, just to give you an idea, since the last time, we have done a little bit offline equipment gathering, and hopefully, we are now in place to make things go. Oh, we've got the pack to ours. Okay, that's irritating. Yay, nice one. Yeah, you better run, Catchua. I'm sure I saw a treasure chest here. I did. What in the name of ass is that? Um, okay. Things have suddenly got seriously real here. 45,000 health? 40... Five? What? On Earth? I get the feeling this might be a battle we choose to run away from. We do cause quite a bit of damage, I will say that much, that's okay. Right, let's try darkening it, see if this works. Don't think it has. Right, I need a tank here. Oren. I foresee no difficulty. You foresee no difficulty, do you? Uh, yeah, trust me. We have a lot Your of difficulty. Your pain shall be twofold. Quite powerful, but not as powerful as we would have expected. Kamari, do me a favour and scan it, will you? Right, so watch out for Earthquake. It's, uh, if a character is swallowed, they'll be able to regurgitate it. Try inflicting darkness and sleep, apparently. Um, immune to provoke, threaten, slow, KO, zombie, petrification. So basically, a lot of status effects. It's no use. Now, one advantage here, there is one strategy I can play. Which will help us. Because that should, in, high, in, in theory... Keyword is in theory. Allow so, us to how be able to. We uh, we're going to do this by getting ourselves as high a damage as possible. I didn't see poison as one of its weaknesses. Let's give that a try. And that's worked. It's been poisoned. That's, that's massive. That is huge. That has completely changed the battle. It does 10% of damage for every single battle, without every single turn, without fail. That's, that's priceless. We needed that. We absolutely needed that. Yeah, a basically Dark Buster works every single turn, but it only works for one turn. So it's an MP drain. But as I said, the camera angle doesn't help, but now that they've... Ah, oh, that's really irritating. So Wacker is now out of the battle for a while. I did not need that. Yeah, I've already had everyone do it, Chris, I think. I've moved everybody around. Everyone's done something. Because, of course, we've not got Unibat yet. That hurts it. As did that. Just strike as much damage as you can, Aaron.
That's why I'm going to have to play potentially defensive for a while, but we'll see. It helps, as I say, that the poison is doing an absolutely load of damage to it. Oh, that's even better. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you very much. And here comes uh, Waka. You. Oh. Chris, were you making a naughty joke? Then? Is that what you were doing? Were, were, you, were you going for a naughty joke then? Low hanging fruit, Monfra. Very low hanging fruit. Funnier than any of my jokes, but low hanging fruit. Right, let's, fin let's end this as best as we can. Actually, I'll tell you what, get some, get some power. Farewell. That's how it's done. Totally agree, Aaron. It is, and a lot of AP gain for that, which was fantastic. We only got a measly one power sphere as a result of that. That's disappointing. So, I will say now that it seems that Bio is pretty broken if you can get it inflicted. Oh, can I not get around there? Get me that chest. I want that chest. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm not wasting all my MP fighting you. I will steal the spam in the spring, and then I'm going to say farewell. I'll be right back. I think you need longer than an hour in the shower for that one, Chris. Yes, it was worth going through all the trouble to get an elixir. Elixirs are good. Yeah, we can't understand the rest of that. We've not got anywhere near the Albed knowledge. Ah, there's a treasure chest. I need Riku to steal it. Ow. Ow. Pain. Nicely done. I impressed. Right, try, time to try and get some um, experience for everybody. So I just getting some um, iced coffee, one second. Why iced coffee? Because I want it. And this should be all I need. <clears throat> Farewell. Absolutely, that's no right. Just shake Let's it go. as much as possible. I'm amazed that that got me so so much experience. And all those spheres. Why didn't they get that against the sandworm? It seems somewhat imbalanced, that doesn't it? That was worth way more experience. That's a strange one. That's very strange. Ah, right, it seems I've started across the next area. And there be more loot. There be loot by craters. Ah, okay. Liku. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with Polaroids, to be honest, because again, I've never had one. I always had a proper film camera that you wound, that you wound the film on with. 
Yeah, I agree with you, Avian. Very suspiciously placed. I don't like it. Oh, hang on. I might have got that wrong. I used the wrong character then, like an idiot. Oh, well, for now, I'll tell you what. Use Lancer. You're not going to kill it. And if you can use Guard. Oh, actually, no. I don't need to do that. Um, Outcast of Light to you... How, um, Avian? And yeah, as I say, Polaroids, they deserve to be consigned to history, don't they? There's, there's retro tech and then there's obsolete tech. Yep. Do I really want to go down there? Do I really want to risk it? Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Twelve and a half thousand with them. We stole ten musk though, which is kind of cool. Right, I'm going to do some cheering. Let's see just how deadly these enemies are. I'm expecting them to be a right pain, to be honest. It absorbs water. I know that much. And it's immune to darkness. Okay. Kimari, can you give us some information on it, please? I'm guessing it's a plant. Fire is going to be a weakness. That's quite a lot of immunity. But once again, Bio is not one of them. Burns easily, so it's fire. I was right. Yep. Oh, well. Riku's managed to heal herself of the issue, I guess. Fine. Give it a, give it a fear out, will ya? Hurt it. Definitely hurt it. And if Aaron can quickly come back. And then if you can go to, go to Arca. We're going to go for an overdrive. Ah, oh, bugger. No, this is going to be terrible. Oh. Interesting. You just, you just threw it and did damage. Right. As much as I want to burn it, do I want to risk our room being confused? Fortune favours the bold. Especially when the ball is proven right. <laughs> well, that's actually helpful because it's brought our run back. Ha! If this survives the next move, I've got an idea. I know me with ideas is dangerous. Oh, we can just go for an overkill. Uh, no, I didn't. I used, I, used, I used scan, but there's another one nearby, so I can drag a lot of ability spheres. And a free megalixers. Well, that was definitely worth it. Also, good evening to Joe. I've just seen you jump in the chat there, matey. How are you doing? Also, Picaro PS5 as well has jumped in. Hi, welcome to the stream. More, more people hanging out is good. I appreciate this. Thank you all very much for checking the stream out. You're all very welcome. Great to see so many of you chilling out and enjoying the show. Well, I say enjoying it. It's barely even started. As we are here deep in the deserts of Final Fantasy X with the fixed camera angles that I can't do anything about. Yeah. 
into the trap it goes. Okay, let's engage the battle. Right, first thing I'm going to do is take advantage of this. Uh, one enemy is fine. No, oh, I can never get that right. I've done it off stream a couple of times, but I've not been able to get it timed when I've been live. You could call me the proverbial choker people. That's what you could always call me on that one. Uh, so he was immune to quite a few of the attributes, I think. Don't know if he was immune to silence, though. I'm going to try it. He is immune. That's annoying. That's incredibly annoying. Yeah, I don't have anything to do. Oh, actually, now I'll think about it. Ah, it's petrification. Damn it. I was hoping it would cure, like, status effects, but the answer is no, it doesn't. You have to use one of my remedies, which is annoying. I don't like having to waste my remedies, but what can you do? Oh, I didn't learn any skills, surprisingly. Kimari was like, nah, I don't want to learn anything. I'm not interested. Damages an enemy, that's better. Okay. Oh. And it's a home run, I guess. <laughs> well, I'll run, I mean, you know, if, they've, if you're able to do that, then fine. That, that's pretty useful. Thank you very much. We've got a couple of teleport spheres, whatever the hell they do. I have no idea. Because again, for those of you who don't know, I am playing this game blind. It's a game I've never actually played before. Apart from the previous ele elements of the stream, that is. So we're having to pick things up as we go. And it's been an interesting experience. There's not been any major raging at mechanics of the game at all, people. I'm definitely not lying. I am telling the 100% truth. Just use a couple of these while I can. Trying to rain. I'm trying to go through all my resources now. Looks like there's another one here. But first, we have robots to deal with. Uh, if you swap to Riku for a second, I want to get rid of one here. Absolutely, Chris. Very much a case of no spoiler zone for any game. That includes anyone who watched my very brief clip that I uploaded earlier. Please do not spoil Rebirth in that clip. You will pay a penalty if you do. What will the penalty be? Um... Let's end this. You'll be forced to play Desert Bus. No, yeah, that'll do it. Well, that's a penalty and a half. So this whole switching your party members out to gain AP is quite annoying. Don't get me wrong, you can manage it, but it's still a nuisance to deal with. Now, now, I'm sorry, Avian. That's against the Geneva Convention. Forcing people to do the cough-up is against the Geneva Convention. That is a war crime. For those of you who don't know what the cough-up is, be grateful, is all I've got to say. Ooh, three times successfully in a row. Are you trying to set someone up to do a 24-hour stream challenge there, Chris? Is that what your, your game is? Oh, we were ambushed this time. Interesting. I went down into the I went down into the pit first, and yet somehow that counted as an ambush. It's not really an ambush if I openly challenge them. I'm not sure how that's an ambush, personally. I don't quite follow that one, that's to be said.
Yes. You can take your press turns and go away. You're not getting any press turns. I'm not allowing it. Ah, a couple of remedies. That's really useful, actually. I really needed that. Right, go on, Belt Queen. Burn it. And Aaron, if you could do me a favour, can you, like, lower its armour, please? Ooh, nice damage. That's annoying. That's incredibly annoying. Stop confusing my party. Oh, no. As the doggo woke up and smelled the food. Hey, avian. <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> I didn't actually notice that avian, but you're not wrong, actually. It does all that as a middle finger salute from that statue in the middle, doesn't that? <laughs> yeah, once again... Ah, but well this time he's missed, so that's not too bad. Probably not really needed, but we'll go for it anyway. Very useful, that, mate. You just disconfused the person who was confused. So this is a good place to farm ability spheres, it must be said. We've found quite a few so far. Not there's anything wrong with that. So in case anyone's wondering why I'm using the lineup of Waka, Riku and Tidus at the start of battle, it's purely for speed purposes. Over here. Ah! Riku. Oh, looks like we're under attack. Down there. Of all the places. Let's go. Where's Yuna? Kaku! Oh, who's attacking us? Protect Drektui! War between Yevon and the Albed? Gygax Anuk! Badu Kuvun Gosumanas! Vidran! You speak our language. Out of our hole. I mean, I like his style to be fair. That's pretty good. Who? Sid, leader of the Albed. He's my dad. Let's go. Yeah. We have to save Uni. Not only Yuna, right? Right. Right, so there we go. We managed to get ourselves going. So, um, yes. <laughs> Desert boss. Oh well, let's loot all the corpses then. We got any more? We got any more thing? The, de the dead don't need it, so let's let's get them. But yes, Desert Boss is quite possibly the greatest troll game of all time. As Chris has pointed out, it doesn't go in a straight line, so you can't even cheat and clamp a button down. Because if you do, your bus turns off the road. 
you have, you're forced to sit there and drive for eight solid hours. And there is no music. There are no passengers. There is no speed. There is no fun at all. And our interest is though, you say that Intertech Sex apparently aren't uh, not, attracted to life. Are you? Not something I'm familiar with, but fair enough. Oh. We'll be there soon, Uni. We've got a preemptive strike on some bombs. Right, well, first of all, let's steal from them. Ah. They're the ones who tried to nullify magic. We want to steal their um, potions then. Get rid of them as quick as we can. Right, East End. Uh, I don't like this changing camera. It looks like I should be pressing left and right, and I'm not. You have to press up and down to select your party, and it's not ideal, to say the least. Nice one. Um, let's get our room in battle for this one. Disable, you disable Lulu's magic now, punk. Yeah. Let's end this. I agree. Let's end this. Blazara, where are you? What are you doing still alive? I did not give you permission to remain alive. You do not have my permission. Well, that's one down, so that's helpful. How dare you remain alive and attack my party? You are not allowed to use the mechanics of the game. I'm the player. I do that, not you. Take, take on the other one for now. Yeah, that'll do. I'm happy with Overkill. Overkill is good. Overkill works. No, Aristojack, I will not be playing Desert Boss. That is not happening. That is not going to happen ever. You have more chance of seeing me bend over and showing my ass naked out of a store in Regent Street than playing Desert Boss for 24 hours. Enemy attacks us first, yet somehow we've got the preemptive strike. I'm, I'm, I'm not complaining, to be perfectly honest. I'm, I'm not complaining. That's right. Get off my battle. Get out of here. Oh god! Now, now we got the now we got the magic puns, have we? Is that is that is that how we're doing this, eh, hey, people? Well, that hurts it. Try dark attack. Yep, that helped. Pretty needed, to be honest. Switch for Tidus. Nice, that's good. Okay, and a dark attack to you. The controls sometimes aren't easy to figure out. Especially when you're a... Comp wow, that still hit. I'm actually surprised he managed to still get hit. Do some five-finger discount, will you? Thank you. Interesting, Aristojack. You say you saw someone try to do um, Lulu, but 
didn't manage it due to being at the bar. I must admit, I did um, see an amazing cosplayer doing um, Lulu. So once in Manchester, and once at Sonicon in Newcastle. And both of them were absolutely fantastic. But I must admit, having been to many a convention, having a, having a few bevies is very much part of the experience. When I went to um, MCM Manchester in 2019, me and a lot of Resident Evil cosplayers ended up being in a bar in Manchester at 2 o'clock in the morning Quick. in full costume with all there in guns and blood, blood costumes and everything else, just getting absolutely sozzled. Over here! Well, the locals loved it. Right, tell you what, I know we're supposed to be going somewhere, but right now, I want to get, I want to get the, I want to get my party leveled up. I've got some movements available, so let's use them. So as far as we can go with Tedus, can't go anywhere with him. So we're now doing the tedious part of the stream, people. That's right. Yes, we are doing the menu management. Sit back and get comfortable. I mean, I've, Kong Crunch is a real thing, Arista Jack. Some people like to make it quickly. Some people, they plan to do one costume and it doesn't come together and they think they can do another at time. Ultimately, people do what's right for them. And so, I mean, the main thing is that, you know, I've, I've seen people make cosplay in half a day. If you know what you're doing, if you're good at it, you can do it very fast. Me, I don't know what I'm doing. I am a useless costumer. It's why my, la my latest costume is being made for me and I can't wait for it to arrive. Hopefully in about two weeks. Although admittedly, I still need to get some accessories for that costume, so I'm feeling the crunch myself, to be honest, I must admit. By the way, is it just me, or does this sound like a, like a certain, like, you know... There's something about this that sounds dodgy, and I don't know what it is. So Kimari's just learned spare change because I've got Kimari, amazingly, on Riku's line. So I apologise for that annoying sound trap, people. It's part of the game. I can't do anything about it without silencing the music. Oh, right, I mustn't have the, I mustn't have the thing you need for that. It says look. Well, I don't have any looks first, so there's nothing I can do about it. This part never gets fun, people. I do apologise for this. Menu management is totally not my bag. I am not a fan of it. Yeah, you say it, it feels like we're in the middle of a questionable rally, um, Avian. It does have that feel. I mean, the Albad language, from what I've heard of it, does sound kind of Germanic. I don't think it's meant to be. It just has that kind of feeling. Actually, I've just seen that Worm Tidus is quite low on health, so you can have a high potion. Everybody else is reasonably okay for now, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Oh, we've got three ways to go. Oh, save point, that's annoying. How frustrating. I, I use a high potion and then the game's like, here, have a save point, get free healing. Okay, game, do you mind getting off this annoying blur effect, please, and just move on? This place does. Oh, this is horrible. You're right. You're right, Waka. We all bed. We. We weren't always like this. Sin destroyed the island where we all used to live. After that, we were scattered to every corner of Spira. But then, my dad brought the all bed together again. If we put our minds to it and work together, then we could make a new home. Everyone worked hard. We had our home back again. But now... Why do things have to turn out this way? Riku! Damn those Guado! What are they thinking? Oh, 
Okay, uh, we're back in the battle again. Right, let's start with the vulnerable to threaten, apparently. Right, okay, that's useful to know. First of all... Ah, that's right, so you're the one who's there. Take a number, buddy. Yeah, get to the back of the sodding queue, you. I don't think we stole anything and there's no prompter for it. Oh, good lord. That's right, get out. Ow. Double ow. Three Arctic wins, that'll come in handy. And then I'll use Walker for this one. Yeah, you say um, the visuals that would have been access were in the 90s, 2000s, but it's still not ideal. Oh! Pain. Right, first of all, if you can get out of the fight for now, I'll bring Kimari in. Hmm, not what I wanted to use. Let's try Lancet. Nope, that didn't do anything, which is annoying. Okay, fine. Uh, special and then threaten. Calm down. Oh, look, he's frozen in time. How convenient. Oh, look, he can't attack us anymore. How doubly convenient. And yes, um, Joe, I heard about that. I didn't actually uh, check it out myself, because I'll, be, I'll be honest, I mean downloading the game again, and I really don't want to. Um, you know, I've done a lot of reinstallation, and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is eating up a lot of space on my hard drive. With good reason. Very good reason. Mm. That certainly hurts it. Oh, you're back, are you? Somehow, I don't think so. You don't want to move. It's like, please, stay down. Tell you what I could do with doing, actually. Not on this turn, but on Aaron's turn. They're both silenced, so that's going to make things more awkward for them. And then if I use what I can use, is one of the Albert potions. Ah, so much for silence. Silence didn't seem to do the square root of fuck all. That's irritating. That's extremely annoying. No, don't do that. Right, he's got the lowest health. Let's finish him. Uh, yes, switch out for Auron. Auron can go for the attack. And then if you switch out for Kimari again... This is where Kimari does have use. If you take him on this path, you've got a, sec a second person who can use these. I love that. Silence works well. Do you see them silenced? I certainly don't. Ooh, Overdrive. Run so rage. Oh, petrifies all enemies, does it? Thank you. That's what I'm talking about.
Oh, it won't let me go back to the save point. God damn it, that's annoying. <laughs> exactly, Chris. As soon as I saw it, I thought, ah, idea. I'll use that. Oh, boo. Oh, come on. Seriously, Chris. Boo. Shame on you for that one. Riku, what is the Summoner's Sanctum? The Summoner's Sanctum is where we keep the Summoners. We keep them safe there. You kidnapped them. I know it's against the teachings and all that. I get why you did it, but... Well, I sure don't get it, Waka. They might get hurt on their pilgrimage. So you kidnap them? I mean, if the summoners don't do their job, then who will beat Sin? You want to protect them, I know. But Guardians are there for that. If Guardians do their job well, summoners will be safe. To be fair to Tedious, right? he's not wrong, though. No. Right? Although that chant is really undermining the scene. It's quiet. Kimari goes now. No, it's not quiet. Hear those, tra hear those chants in the background. It's not quiet at all. They really didn't think about the sound mix of this scene, did they, people? We'll have the dramatic piano music while someone's there. Pagadoi tan! Pagadoi tan! Or whatever the hell they're saying. It's like, pick a tone and stick with it. You're meant to be going for a cinematic approach. So choose your shot and track it properly. Yuna, please be here! I've got a level 2 key sphere, That's kind of, that could prove useful. Aha, hidden loot. A level 4 key sphere. Oh, hello. Very nice. <gasps> yeah. Yuna. Oh, well, that worked. Oh, look who it isn't. She's not here. Hello again. Wait there until we have performed the sending. They died. Protecting us. It's not much, but the least we can do is give them a proper sending. Hey, um, what sacrificed? The Albed said summoners were being sacrificed. That summoners shouldn't have to do a pilgrimage. Why couldn't they trust guardians to protect the summoners? The Albed had no right stopping their pilgrimage. Oh, there we go, the people. Pilgrimages have to stop. If they don't, and they get to Xanarkin, they might defeat Sin. Uni could. But then she. So the mission would be a success. What's you the problem? Die, you know? Why? You know, don't you? Summoner's journey to get the final Aeon. Yuna told you, didn't she? With the final Aeon, she can beat Sin. But then... But then... If she calls it, then the final Aeon's gonna kill her. Even if she defeats Sin, it will kill Yuni too, you know? We've got the annoying soundtrack, and now we've got the annoying blur effect. Game, knock it off! Was I the only one... ...who didn't know? Tell me why! Why were you hiding it? Oh. Why didn't I know? We weren't hiding it. We just didn't tell you. It was just... 
Too hard to say. We didn't lie, we just omitted the truth. Tried to stop her? She follows. Her heart. You know, she knew what she was doing when she chose to become a summoner. To face sin, yeah? You know, knew. But Waka, that's just totally wrong. Summoners shouldn't have to sacrifice themselves. Just so the rest of Spirit can be happy, right? I suddenly get vibes of another game I've recently played. I don't want to spoil it. Oh, seriously? We're not a safe part in a while, by the way, guys. That is our choice. We all live in fear of sin, you know that. Yeah, that's why I show you fun off love. Sin. Undermine the scene that even more. Is the dream of all Yevon's children. Soak in those we pixels, will use people. That power, even if it means your our lives. Master Jack, that's and called people rustling Yuna, popcorn. Let's go to Xanarkin together. Let's beat Sin. I told her all the things. We could, we could. And all along, the whole time, I didn't know anything. <sighs> but Yuna, she... She'd... Just smile. Is this where Tidus faces himself? Well, let's not forget, it's annoying, huh? Hey, watch. <gasps> oh. Hey. You got pretty good. You sound sad. Yeah, maybe. Want a screen? Mm -hmm. I really don't think that's gonna help this time. You know what? Hmm? I'm not taking the risk. It's embarrassing to say this myself, but summoners and their guardians are kind Fool of me like once, Spira's ray Shame of on light. you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. A lot of people in Spirit depend on us. I learned to practice smiling. When I'm feeling sad, you know. <laughs> I know it's hard. Yeah. I understand. I think. Right. Now let's see what you can do. I mean, to be fair, I don't think they're actually laughing, but I'm not risking it. It's not happening, game. I'm not falling for it. You're not blindsiding me this time. No, 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 no. I want my journey to be full of laughter. There's no shouts and laughing, die. but you can hear the annoying chant again, people. I'll find her! Just for me, you'll laugh on tomorrow's stream, mate. 
I'll remember to hit my mute button then when I when you do. Um, hang on, we just bored of the shit. Go, go, go! Three minutes, Moft! Reno, Reno! We reach one minute! Where's Yuna? I don't know how you I don't know how you major. I said, where is she? Answer me! Answer me, damn you! Uh, no. What do you do when you find her, eh? I... I... I didn't know anything about what a summoner is... is supposed to do. And I told her all those things without even knowing. I've got to tell her. I've got to tell her I'm sorry! That's it? You're gonna tell her you're sorry? I'm gonna sit on and this one. And then you just drag her to Zanakin and make her fight Sheen, huh? You're all the same. Let the summoner die so we can live in peace! Thank you, Sid. No. I've been wanting to do that all game. Ah, words! Show me action! I'm telling you, she won't die! Boy, don't forget those words. Because if you do... I'm going to make you regret it. I won't. Finally, someone's actually got the head screwed on here. Someone actually is like, you know what, let's we can do something about this. So you know where she is? Of course not! That's why we're going to look! Using this airship! Hey, sit in his airship. Airship? Final Fantasy VII confirmed, people. Be done! NATO do coup! Oh, that view is horrible. Good lord, what, 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 what is that? Evil Maker 1000 years, Ujantia! Yeah, good idea. Drown us all in sand. And as you say, Chris, yeah, of course it's Sid who knows what he's talking about. So what kind of design have they gone for the overall look of the airship here, then? Very different to the one we've gone for, not quite as steampunky. Oh! Really? It's Jack! Huh? Nick Pit Pit Pit! The only thing less stable than this camera is my mental state. On a wardrobe from NFI. Troy, the Vomayak! Echt, how good treat! Freda, we chop. E A U E No Bo Me No Rain Me I guess it's not a ship without a sea shanty people. Yo Chu Yo Go Asa Te Kana What's going on? We're... we're gonna blow up our home. How? Um, With one of the forbidden Makina. Cue run from Wacker yeah. any two seconds. Yeah. So are we gonna use a rail gun here for this, or just some old-fashioned cannon fire? Ah, so Sid uses limit break from Final Fantasy VII, that's what he's done, people. This is level 4 limit. And we briefly interrupt Final Fantasy here and tend to bring you Resident Evil 3 Nemesis.
or some kind of weird <laughs> desert racing. I don't know what that'll be. And a D&D kit. Gott, wun dank. Für der gut equipped machina. Ecto lipa fiam da. We got. Hey, look. Don't get so down. Um, you've only destroyed Boom. your home. It's fine. <laughs> like happy festival fireworks, yeah? You can cram your happy festival, you big meanie. <laughs> <laughs> the six-year-old insults come out to play again, people. You've only blown your home up. It's fine. Stop moping. I'm a laugh. You know, it's a happy moment. Your city charges have blown the whole place up. You know, you know, it's cool. It's a celebration. You consider it like a Viking burial. That's what you've done. You, you sent it off to Valhalla. All is good here, people. We'll, we'll get out. We'll get out the usage horns and go berserk. You know what I mean? No, oh, let's talk to Riku first, then. I'm okay. I'm fine. Really. Um, I wouldn't be if I was forced to blow my home up. I'm okay. I'm fine. Really. Yeah, uh, yeah. Keep telling yourself that, love. Go on, Lulu. What have you got to say about this? This is tough on all of us. Is it? This is tough on all of us. Yeah, it seems that people don't have multiple lines here. Uh, go on, then, Sid. Tell me what, tell me what the plan is. Did you find out anything about Yuna? I'm looking into it, okay? <sighs> don't worry, I'm using a sphere of cellophinder. If she's out there, we'll get her. A sphere of cellophinder? It's an ancient machina. I don't know how it works either, so don't ask me, okay? So you're using something you you've no idea how to it? use. But thank you, Lulu, ah, yes. I don't even rightly know how this rig flies, either. Are you like the worst, Our world's worst captain? Taboo on Machina, we're running around in the dark here. Ain't it a rush, kiddos? I mean, he's got charisma, at least. It's like, you know, the fact of the matter is it's all going to catch fire and we're all going to drown. Enjoy the ride. It's going to be great. It's like taking a ride on Leviathan or uh, Behemoth for Canada's Wonderland. You've no idea how fast you're going, you've no idea where you're going to go. All you know it's going to end very soon and very badly. I can't believe we're flying through the sky in this. A machina! Um, well, we're not really flying in the sky. We're kind of like flying over a, over an ocean by the looks of it. Make your supper! It's too right, Nidek! Leave you. He says, "Leave me." It's interesting trying to decipher it without having all the information. <laughs> yes, between Sid and Lulu, there's half a brain. Well, it's a start, Chris. We're making progress. We've gone from zero to half. It could be worse. Also, why do I feel like I'm watching Queen's Let's Play Mass Effect? Got Mass Effect all of them running around the airship. Whether Yuna's safe or not, there's trouble brewing. And the award for states and the obvious goes to... Ah, oh, so here we are, we've got more people back here. What have you got to say? Kimari never forget the Albert sacrifice. Oh, someone is actually paying attention. Hey, I'm not looking forward to my brother dying when this is all over. If only there was some way of doing it without anyone dying. Let's think of one. Easier said than done. I mean... If we had all the time in the world, yeah, we'd think of something. And while we were thinking, sin would kill us all. Spira doesn't have that time. If you want to kill Sid, just show her a non-stop marathon of Jeremy Kyle talk shows. He'd die of depression. Oh, hang on. I, meant, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to talk to these guys. We owe our lives to the Albed. However, no matter how they beg, we cannot quit our pilgrimage. Even though you'll die? I've known since I was a child. My will is set. If I do not do it, someone else must, you understand. Let him rest. Let's have a shot, mister. Well, well. It appears you too have escaped harm. You were on the ship too? 
I came to home to pick up some goods and found myself here. Quite the escape. <sighs> Thankfully, my goods were spared. Please let me know if you need any of my wares. I mean, yeah, everyone, everyone died and everything, but I've got items. Not the cheapest prices, it must be said. Not cheap at all. Hmm. I think for now I'm going to be okay. What about Thank weapons? You. Your all proceeds will... We'll go to help restore home. Great. I cut you off then. Not my fault. But again, the prices look kind of silly. Just seeing if any of them have got any decent equipment. But I'm not seeing anything. Apart from the HP pluses, nothing immediately makes me stand out. Thank you. Stand out. Your patronage is very much appreciated. Is there anything further about this way? There is. Okay. Ah, they are only voice lines. That's interesting. I wonder why. Look, I'm really tired. Leave me. If it's not an emergency, would you mind leaving? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Wait. There's something I want to ask you. Do you want me to leave or not? What would you think? If I said I... I was giving up my pilgrimage. Do I get to choose? Oh, right. So, I can either go, Yeah, that's right, get out while you can, or... Oh, God, who gives a shit? What are you telling me for? Why should I fucking care? You know what I mean? They're terrible choices. My, ch my answer would be, You need to do what's right for you. That'd be my answer. Because I'm a spineless politician. Unusual. Most people would never forgive a summoner who quit. Why is that? Behind my back, they would say I was abandoning my duty. So, who cares? <laughs> Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? Easy for you to say. But, uh, you do have a point. Maybe Bartello and I should go someplace far away. I have no idea if that's a plot, a plot important point. What? Get some clothes on. So the, the Albert have way too much love of like, you know, that kind of like steampunk engineer look, but they also have some very risque designs. I'm sure these are probably really important dialogues, but half of them I can't read. And the fact that they're not voice acted also has me concerned. Well, not concerned, more apathetic. Ah, no save point. Cool. Oh, never mind, I didn't mean to do a new one, but I'll take it anyway. What have we got up here, then? Yeah, you know nothing to say to me of worth. What about you two? Okay, there's nothing here. Is there anywhere else to go? Or have I got to go all the way back through? I have to go all the way back. The long way around. So can the classical music people. Enjoy the sound. Oh. Okay. 
They won't let me scout them, but there's a scouter there. Someone I could scout for... Oh, hello. Who are you? Ah. Uh, no. I don't have a clue what that is. I don't want to mess things up. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're the team. Mexico found the Blitz team. But none of them are available to be hired by now, I think. Yeah, you can see. And plus, to be fair, I don't want to play Blitzball anytime soon. Blitzball was incredibly annoying. I really did not like it. Now, is it just me or have I gone After a rescuing ah. Yuna, then what? You want to keep her safe, correct? Would you seek to stop her pilgrimage? Of course! If she continues this fool pilgrimage, she will die. Sure as if you killed her yourself. No harebrained law or teaching could send my little niece to her death. When I save her, I'll make her give up being a summoner quicker than a desert melts ice. That's Even against her will? Better than a dog's death. And I'll take down anyone who don't agree! Hmm, that's tyrannical, that mate. You can't do you that. You are the captain. Good! Then it's settled. Unless there's a mutiny! Right, that's fair, Chris. I mean, I wouldn't understand that. And to be honest, with the way I play the game, I'm going to ignore it. First, we rescue Yuna. Let's show him what we got. Okay, so now what? Nikuni Achan Bem Kuneshka. Huh? Why are you speaking all bad to me? Nikuni Achan Bem Kuneshka. He called Yuna his, uh, niece, right? I mean, so that makes her our bed, right? Don't say it. Yuna's Yuna, right? I was actually going to say it, but okay. No matter what happens, Yuna won't give up her pilgrimage. No matter what happens, Yuna won't give up her pilgrimage. Yeah. Uh. Aaron, where did you... Ah, oh, there you are again. Let him say what he wants. Oh, God. Okay. First, we rest... Fine, you've got nothing more to say to me. What about you? Vidran! For Fort Yuna! Ah, we found you. Elfen Krufwe! Elfen Krufwe? Huh? Oh, so the marriage is happening regardless. Okay. Where was that? The palace of St. Bavel, heart of Yevon. Gramps, let's move. Easy, kiddo. Bavel's defenses are top notch. What's the matter, Gramps? Are you scared? <laughs> Yuna's there, so we go and get her. And that's all! It's not trying to be Leon Kennedy. You're not cool enough. He got guts! God, we can do my well! Team, come on, get it! Look! And as you say, you, yeah, that was... Get to that was one dress, wasn't it? We prepare for battle! Oh, God. Stop these camera shakes, for God's sake. Knock it off! There's something about that look that was familiar, but I don't know why. Something about it made me think of something else. The city of Bavel is built on the water. There may be underwater fighting. Yeah, which is why you've you got... Riku should study your magic, just in case. Um, no. I'm a Blitzball player. At least I'm unplug it. okay and all, but what's with those fancy clothes? Really, Waka? It's called a wedding dress. What? 
<laughs> Thank you, Lulu. What's Seymour doing alive? Didn't we take care of him in Makalania? We didn't send him. He is dead. As dead as Jiskel was. His attachment to this world kept him from the next. Oh, scary. So we're doing the zombie wedding arc here, people. Yuna must Wonder if that'll work. Perhaps he won't expect it. Uh yes he will. No no no. He he he's definitely going to expect it. He he will be ready for that, trust me. It's interesting because I, I theorized before that scene that he was already dead because of the Y cut on the on his clothes. So I technically was right, but I was also wrong at the same time. I'm claiming that one. Make your supper! It's too late, Nidek! Oh, just fly the sun in plane. Fly the ship. Open all batteries. They grabbed Yuna back in the Sanubia Desert. Okay. One of the Guado squads that attacked home found her. Fine. So why don't we focus on the more important bar? Oh. Now what? Have we been raided? We're being attacked from within. Some of the Guado that attacked home must have snuck on board. How? You're awfully calm about it. I am calm about most things. Fiends! There's nothing to do but... But destroy the ship and all go down together. Okay, Rico. Uh, Are you trying to be salty all of a sudden? You gotta learn a little restraint, Pops. Wait. If you crash the ship, we can't go rescue Uni. Leave the fiends to us professionals. Yeah, let's oh. go. Thanks. Riku, you've made some very good friends, I think. Good luck. Ooh. I gotta say, Avian, that's a pretty that's a pretty bad choice. Play football or, or say someone from a zombie marriage. That almost sounds like a shit post. Oh. Be, Be careful, okay. May I help you? No. No, you may not. Thank you. Your patronage is very much appreciated. Let's see if you can steal from them. Stole some musk, apparently. Yeah, I thought that was gonna miss. <clears throat> like, that's annoying. Thank you, we'll have more musk. Because I need it, obviously. <clears throat> Just so we can try and get everybody um, level, leveling forward. Yeah, it doesn't help. Oh no, Chris! No, uh, 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 uh. no, 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 no! It is not that pillock. Not them. Not now. Not ever. Take that. Hey, nice. We got a decent amount of AP for that fight, surprisingly. We've got a few speed spheres, too. Okay, regroup again, because we can. Enjoy the menu management, people. That's what we're going to be doing here. Oh, what? It's too cramped to call Aeons here. No, it isn't. I'll leave this fight to you. Show us your stuff. It's not too cramped to call Aeons here at all. On board the Ragnarok in Final Fantasy VIII, I was summoning Bahama. Well, no, not Bahama, sorry. I was summoning Ifrit. I was summoning Bleeding Pandemona. Don't start telling me it's too cramped in here. If I can make summons, summons on the Ragnarok, you can do it on the Bleeding Airship. A high potion's not exactly ideal. 
That helps. That doesn't help, but what can one do? Nice, that's good. We'll have that. Well, I can do that again, will you? Very, very helpful. Yay! Fire breath. Excellent. Just defend for a second. I'm going to try and load another one. No, it's not letting us do it. Never mind. It's no big deal. It's over. Yeah, I'm not arguing with this. Decent find so far. And again, I think the characters I've got, I've got quite strong. So it's certainly helping us to be able to get through this. We'll leave the other compartments to you. Because we cannot be bothered. I'm liking that the game's greyed out, Blitzball. It, it started listening to me and realised just how bad a game it is. I sound salty as anything when I say that, and that's not much of a change, let's be honest. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, thank you. Not, not quite nothing. Right. Um, ah, here we go. Oh, uh, it's a. Now there's a rare sight. Whoa, that's huge! What is that? The guardian worm, Evre. The great sacred beast, protector of Bavel. <laughs> the red carpet has teeth. Wait, that means we're close to Bavel. Riku, you read me! We're gonna fight that thing! Get on deck and show him what you got! Go! There he goes again! The ferryman asks a high price. The ferryman asks a high price, does he, Alrum? So that's you once again confirming my theory that Aaron is dead. Because the ferryman is an old Celtic and Gaelic folklore of when a person is um, on the way to pass, they have to pass a coin to the ferryman who carries them across the River Styx. Oh no! The downside of being criminals is you can't play Blitzball. <gasps> oh no! Anyway... Be interesting how we fight this then. And is that a main weapon? I didn't realize it was Greek as well, Avian, that's fair. We gotta keep our distance, boys, but we can't let her get too far away! Y'all have to tell me when to move! Whoa. I'm not fighting a boss and being captain of the ship at the same effing time. That ain't happening. But tell me quick, huh? This rig ain't so nimble, you hear? Roger, I'll give the commands. No, Titus. Not alone, you won't. Right. Use the trigger commands, move in and pull back to... What? Go back! 
Back farther away. Just a minute. I'm just trying to see exactly what can um, happen with this. Can you steal from it? Solar water gem. Helpful. Uh, uses poison breath after inhaling. Hmm. Can't see any of these working. I'll be very surprised if it does. Yeah, pretty powerful. Don't be falling now! So that gives us some breathing space. Is that what this is the, the main gimmick of this fight is? Giving you breathing room to uh, get around it. If that's the case, then kind of cool, I suppose. But at the same time, also kind of annoying. Uh, tell you what. Can you switch out for Lou? As you got black magic. Can't see this working as the boss. I can't see it working. Let's try ice damage. See what hits it. Yeah, it didn't really do a lot of damage. It didn't. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't ideal either, to say the least. Right. Uh, you switch out for now for Kimari, actually. I want to see if we can get anything from scanning it. There's a high magic defense, no one will. We just excels poison drop and hit repeatedly on melee attacks. Ash to do it and he'll launch a volley of guided missiles. Ah, so that's why you can do it, for a volley of missiles. Okay. That was actually more annoying than anything. It didn't really do anything. Right, for now... As this is a limit break, will it work? I'm gonna try it, just go oh yeah, I was thinking it'll be out of range. It's not gonna work, is it? I'll tell you what then. You can be a tank for now. You can guard. This is it! I'm hitting it with all we got! So we've only got two salvos remaining. So I'll go back to Tidus, and I'm going to do another command to come back. Closer! Go closer! Just a minute! That still counts as out of range. That's rather surprising. Might as well get some um, attack in here for now. He's got high magic defense. Can Waka hit him from here? Yes, he can. Thanks to that amazing uh, Blitzball move. But now, raise our defense and, aim and magic defense. Even though we're jumping, it doesn't count. That's frustrating. Ah, I see. So you can actually go so many decimal places. I wonder if this will work. Let's try 10,000 gills if it'll work. Uh, it's still out of range, for sod's sake. Fine, in that case, switch to Auron for now. And if you can just once again go in guard mode, tank it.
We are going to need to go and switch to magic attacks. I need to get Lolo to use a magic at some point. Which is why I'm going to do that right now. Even though we're up close, I want to try and do something. Try Fira. Not exactly a lot, it must be said. Let's go with slots, see if we can get any decent move. Damn it. Yep, that hurts it. Oh no. That I do not need. Luckily we are going to get a turn. I've got to go for overdrive while I can. I am not risking losing my magic character. That ain't happening. Okay. Let's go with let's go with jump. Neeps, that's good, that's good. Okay. Let's go with Fundara. Yeah, that's the move I was actually really kind of bothered by. But there is a solution to this. Because Kimari is on Riku's line. That cures that move. Oh yeah. Wow, he really does not like um, Lulu, does he? Luckily, I've got enough remedies for now. Oh, nice. Critical hit. And the miss, too. Switch back to Lulu on this side. Oh, I didn't even see that. I'm such an idiot. That was me not paying attention. Me not pay attention? Since when do I ever do that? Right, I'll tell you what. Let's take advantage Go of the salvo. Away. Just a minute. I've got a couple of salvos, so I might as well um, regroup and rebreathe for a second while I've got the chance. Yes, that move is annoying, but it's uh, not the worst thing in the world. Uh, tell you what, for now, let's go for a buff. This time, let's go. I, mean, I can't see it working, so I'm not going to do it. Besides, it's in. We've done quite a lot of high damage output to it, to be fair. We've done really good for damage. Do that again. And then Liku. Come to the party, will you? Having all these Albed potions is very useful. Riku now has full damage, which is helpful. Oh, he's using haste on himself.
Well, we had the one salvo. For now. Uh... Right, okay, that's annoying. That's very, very annoying. Let's have a look at something we can mix here. How about... A grenade... With one of my power spheres. Oh, no, that... that well, actually, no, that helps us and them. What does that do? That'll do. 1,000 damage. And it's darkened it. That's a surprise. I didn't think that would work, but it did. Oh, it's poison breath. Oh, whoa! It killed the party, pretty much. Holy crap! Well, that's poison severe jeopardy. Let's start. My X potion in you for a second. Damn, okay, that was that was a nasty move. Oh, that's it, game over. That's the battle over, we've lost. That's just bad luck. That is very bad luck. That is very, very bad luck. That was RNG, unfortunately. There's not much you can do when that happens. That was just unfortunate. Curiously, it goes, it goes by physical attacks, and I was mixing the attacks up, but it's cool. These things happen. <sighs> Skip the scene. Whoa, that's huge! Skip. Skip the scene! Skip! What is that? Add a skip world. function Great. upon continuing Great in the future! Beast. Protector of Bavel. <laughs> the red carpet has teeth. Wait, that means we're close to Bavel. Riku, you read me! We're gonna fight that thing! Get on deck and show him what you got! Go! There he goes again! Yes, there he goes again. The ferryman asks a high price. Okay. Before I start here. Absolutely they did. They had it in quite a few games, Chris. And considering this was a remaster, there was no excuse for not adding it here. Zero excuse. But again, unfortunately, this was a very lazy PS3 port and an even lazier PS4 port. I find that very, very annoying. I really do. I'm trying to see if I've got anything that helps here. Okay. Oh, hold on. Here's where it might be time. Hmm, not got enough petrify grenades for that, but let's buy a lot of softs. Open the hatch. We fight. Evray is truly mighty. Be well prepared. Yeah, good, for good advice. That's be fair. We gotta pay if we lose. I have faith in your victory. Well, one thing. Gee, gonna... thanks. 
Yes, Walker, I understand your cynicism, my friend. Okay. Okay, so that's one. That's for Taylor's. Apologies for the um, menu management here, people. But there's something I need to do which will help make things a little bit more smooth. There's actually a couple of things I could do here. Could really do with more triple ones, but unfortunately I don't have them, which is irritating. So with that in mind... Uh, better ones for in the world. We'll go with that one. This is where the crafting does have its advantages, but it is kind of irritating the way you make it work. Yeah, I'll put it with that one so it protects against darkness as well. We've got to equip for a second. I just made you, so where are you? Where'd you go? I just made a bracer, which was soft bracer, but it's not showing on the list. Why? Why is it not showing the soft bracer? That's the soft armlets, that's good. Wasn't that that I made? I just made another. Oh, it was one of Wackers. That's what I did. Excellent. May I help you? Yeah, unfortunately, we're at the menu management phase. I do apologise to that, people. There's not much I can really do about it. Well, I've got the chance, actually. I'll also spend money on these. Thank you. Your patronage. Yeah, be quiet. Next. We are at the menu management point, so I want to try and make things a little bit better. A little more preparation. Be very, very useful. See, that one's already got um, stone proof. But that's for Yuna. Unfortunately, I've not got access to her. I can't use her, which is frustrating. Right, yellow bracer. Yep, Auron, that's the one I wanted. So I can either that one, magic defense, or just the regular bracer. I could really do with the triple slot one, but I don't have it, which is really annoying. Because otherwise, I put poison ward on there as well. Have poison ward and stone ward. It would make things a little better for defense, but alas, I don't have the access to do that. There's nothing more I can really do. So the only one left now is for Riku and Lulu. We've got the Bright Bangle. Yeah, they're all unfortunately... There's not much more I can really do there. Fine, I'll put it on that one. Yes, I, I'm taking my time. I'm making this work. If the game's going to RNG me, RNG me to death, I'm going to, I'm going to fight back by countering the RNG. I'm going to do something to get rid of it. There we are. So you, look, Riku has both Poison Ward and Stone Ward. Let's get equipping. I say, this part is boring, people. I'm really sorry, but the game, unfortunately, wasn't playing fair. And has decided that you're going to have to do a lot of stuff like this in order to move things around. So I'm going to avoid, I'm going to do it where I can. Where's the one that I just made for him with soft? Ah, there it is. That's the one. Thank you. Yep, perfect. Right, now I'm going to go and save again. Now that I've done all the menu management there. Because last time we got RNG'd, we were way in front, and then the game decided to basically invoke two moves to finish the battle. So this time, 
I'm going to fight back. Well, let's try again. And again, unfortunately, well, there's no skip option. This is where the game is a bit tedious. Pun intended. But yes, so good evening, KPAR. Anyway, you've arrived at completely the wrong time. Um, but So hopefully this time, we can start to move things forward. I was actually winning quite easily, and then the game's decided that it wanted to use two moves that had only five. we got to keep our distance, boys, but we can't let her get too far away. You all have to tell me when to move. Yes, we're aware. Get on with it. Right, next. Press a little brick steel while you can. Just because just we want it. Uh, next. And Marky, you will get your chance in a moment, but first of all... Nearly 3,000 damage to start the fight. And that's a character who can take the hit. So for now, Kimari. We'll start with a jump. That'll do nicely. Okay. Now let's go for our first missile attack. So that's all. So that's awesome that when Riku gives the commands, they do it in our bed. That's actually a really nice little continuity feature. I do like that. So the interesting one I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to Lulu and Waka so that I can use some ranged attacks. Yeah, so Riku's now got herself in full command. So first of all, actually, wrong option. Special use and then... Albert Potion. Curiously, it looks like it doesn't replenish your items when you load. Because I, I definitely used... I definitely had more of those when I started this fight. If that's the case, that's a little... I won't say it's imbalanced, but it's a bit annoying. Actually, let's go back in. Hopefully we won't. Let's keep going. Like, that's a pain. That hurts a lot. Yeah, if you can switch for Tidus for now. Well, I'd say, I'd say it makes sense that it shouldn't happen that way either, Chris, so I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm as perplexed as you are. Now, interestingly, he did suffer from darkness before, so I'm going to try something. Yep, Dark Buster works. I get the feeling he's about to go for... Um, oh, wait, no, that's ended the turn. That's kind of annoying, but at the same time, I get it. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's cheer it for now. Let's try that again. Yeah, but that move is not easy to get. The Dark Buster only lasts for one turn. It's like it's basically like a. 
It's an ultra version. It will hit, but ultimately you will not get the chance very often. Right, tell you what, I'm going to give the command to pull back because our run's going to get go a go. Farther away. Just a minute. Now, meanwhile, if you can use armor break, see if this will work. That's not the move I wanted to use. Because that hurts a hell of a Don't lot. Be fallen now. Yeah, well, there's not much I can do if my party are close to death. Wait, with Tidus on the health he's on, Poison's going to literally finish him. Unless I get creative. If I use an antidote... But yeah, so, do you see how all my party had Poison Ward on? Not a single one of them countered it. Not a single one. Now, now's not the time for Walker to finish him. Now's not the time. It will be, but not now. Now, if you can switch to look to Waka, because you are far away, this is a risk, but I'm going to play it. Yeah, that's okay. I can get away with that. Do that again. Yeah, I think that's a glitch. I think there's a glitch in the game where if you reload it, you've, 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 you've used items, they don't start. That's very, very imbalanced, to say the least. But what can you do? It's the way the game's gone. Meanwhile, well, if you can quickly switch for Lulu, just so we can get a black magic move used. I fail to see how it's not a glitch if I've literally had the items and then had them taken away from me and I've loaded my save. How is that not a glitch? I'm sorry, I, I disagree. That's got to be a glitch. Right. Here's an idea. It's expensive, but it works. Well, it would have worked, except he was able to auto-haste. So, essentially, the boss does that for it. I don't remember using Albed potions, though. I do not remember using Albed potions. I'm 99% certain I didn't. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean I'm right, but I am very much almost, I'm almost certain that I didn't use Albed potions. Yeah, that's proof. The crafting here doesn't help. Unless, you, unless you've got stone proof, it's absolutely useless. That's absolute proof. Poison, hit every time. Petrify, hit every time. When I've got equipped a special armor, which makes you... Make, makes it wards it off. That's not 50% RNG. That's bullshit. This boss is bollocks. Thank you, finally. Really? Switch out for our one. I need, I need a party member who's got power here. Right, now's the chance to pull back. Go back! Farther away! <sighs> Hold on! 
That move is completely imbalanced. That move is not balanced at all. Oh, Rob, we're dead. We're dead. There's nothing we can do. We're dead. We're absolutely dead. There's nothing I can do. There is literally nothing I can do. I've, 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 had to, I've, had to go, I've had to do something there. I had no other option. So, all my party, all the people that had Poison Ward, didn't make a difference. People who had Stone Ward, Stone Ward didn't make a difference. Completely, do it doesn't matter. It is completely and utterly irrelevant. Yep, so here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna lose again here. There's nothing I can do. There's absolutely nothing I can do. I've not got anyone who can tank the hit. The only thing I can do... Purely because it's a chance. And I've got enough of them for now. Let's go for these again. Because at least Poison Breath... Will counter not cut poison breath, sorry. Um, the Albert potion will give us something to work with. It's not much, but it's something. So this is why I find bosses that use things like this just absolutely they're not, they're not they don't balance it properly. Yeah, you've missed. Oh, fine, yeah. That's fair. That's really fair. Give it two attacks because one missed. That's really fair. That's really balanced. That, that's really re rewarding the player for learning the mechanics of the game. That's, that's really fair. That's not even RNG anymore. That's not even RNG. That's beyond RNG. Ow. But now you got to swap. I need a, I need a character that can actually use an item here. I mean, that's helping, but it's not doing enough, because I'm not doing enough to get through the attacks, as far as I can see. I mean, yeah. Raise evasion. Yeah. Completely. Completely raise evasion. Wow. So 6,000 guild is 600 damage. Not very useful, that. Nowhere near as useful as I'd like. Still, at least I know now, so it's not too bad. Yeah, let's go with one of these for now. We don't need to waste the Albert potion. Get everyone back to full health. Mm. 
gonna try this move again, which was the grenade. Mixed with... I'm gonna try it with abilities first, see what happens. Blast the mine. So we're darkening the enemy, which is awesome. Now if you can hit it with another magic move, try water off. I know it's got high magic defense. Oh, but yeah. So when you use physical attacks, it uses poison breath. When you use uh, when when you use um, physical attacks, when you use magic attacks, it hits poison breath. So what's the point? Seriously, what is the point? By the time you've got the chance to move away, Chris, you don't have the, you don't, you don't have the time. It takes at least one extra turn. That's the problem. I can, I can give the command now, but we won't have it in time for his next move. I can't switch to anyone without being attacked by anyone. So, I've never said that. Kimara is low on health, so I'm going to have to switch to someone quick. So... Let's go back to our room, and this time we're going to heal up, surprisingly. So, I mean, look where my commander is. But I'm not going to get the chance to move. I won't have an option. There's no way I can move. There's not. It takes too long. You can't move. Yeah, so how do you slow him down and prevent him from using haste? Because every time you try, it doesn't work. None of the attacks work. That's the problem. I've just tried Silence Buster. Not worked. So now he's breathing. And by the time I get the chance to move away, he's already had his turn. So there's literally nothing I can do. So they've actually made this fight really unbalanced. All because of status effects. Honestly, I'm, I'm this far away from stopping for the night. Yep, yeah, there goes Waka. Don't be fallen now! Right, for now, I've got no choice. I'm going to have to bring someone back and hope for the best. But he's going to get an attack. And watch a bit of side move that wipes the party out. Watch a bit of that move. Yep, yeah, told you. Called it. Knew that was going to happen. Absolutely knew it. So I move away, and it comes right next to you. What's the point? What is the point of a mechanic that tells you to move away when you use it, the enemy immediately comes close and you lose? What is the point? What's the sudden point? What is the point of including the option to be able to make it so you can do that? What is the point in making a game's mechanic be that you, be, you move away to prevent it using close range attacks so when it does, it follows you and uses close range attacks? What's the point? What is the point? What is the fucking point? No, because Reflex, Reflex is a white magic spell. And that's Yuna's. At least I believe it. At least I believe it's her has got it. I don't believe anyone else has it. I'm saying it now. If, if, if my character's fall in battle now, I'm, I'm ending the stream. I am not putting myself through this tonight. It's as simple as that. If we don't win this fight, the stream is over. Right, 
Kimara's got a chance, but the problem is... See, I've got Poison Ward equipped. It's not fucking working. So there's no point in the equipment. The equipment doesn't work. The equipment is absolutely useless. I'm gonna have to go defensive here. And hope that I can do an extra Albert potion to keep us alive. Say, I've engaged with the mechanics of this fight three times, and three times the game's gone, nah, I'm not, I'm not following the rules. There's no point in including it as an option. There's no, there's no sodding point. Just to prove that this mechanic doesn't work. Just to prove it doesn't work. That's just to prove the mechanic does not work. Fuck you! Get the fuck out of my sky! Crude! A cup of hell! That's easily the least fair fight of this match, of this game so far. That was not a balanced fight. Unless you, unless you literally created proof armor, it was an impossible fight almost. That fight can fuck off. In fact, this whole game can fuck off. Ugh. This is something I don't want to see. Ugh. Ugh. When a game forces you to like start doing stuff like that, it's a badly designed fight. It should cater to all styles of gameplay. Square, fuck you. This game fucking sucks. Three out of ten. This game is fucking shit. Worst Final Fantasy I've played in a while. Other than 12. It's not that bad. I don't understand the hype for this game. I really don't. I don't get it. I really don't understand it. Tony Hawk mode for whatever reason. No, you are not Sonic in Sonic Adventure 2. Knock it off. You're not cool enough. That's fair. That's really fair, that. Put you into position like this. And don't give you the option to get any kind of restoration. That's really, really fair. That's, no, don't give you a save point. 
Don't give me an option to re rebuild your resources. Don't do anything like that. Yeah, that's really balanced, that game. That's a, that's a really fucking good game design. Not. I'm dropping it down to a 2 out of 10. Purely for that. 2 out of fucking 10. Might as, well, might as well do some movement on the sphere grab while I can. Yes, you can wait there. I'm not ready for you yet. Sod off. It's as far as I can go, I think. But that still gets me access to the material. That's fine. Thank you. I don't want to see more of what? what? What do you mean by that, Chris? What are you on about? I don't want to see more of it. What are you fucking talking about? If that's a pun, it's not a very good one. Now's not the time for that. This game's shit enough. Don't, don't make things worse. Now's not the time. Yeah, see. As, as for Reflect, unless you grind forever, there's no way you're getting it. There's the proof. I've done a load of grinding offline. And I've still not got anywhere near that move. On on, the, on their particular skill tree. And again, if it's one of those where you need to have certain characters going down certain paths and using the fucking guide, then the game is terribly made and can kiss my fucking ass. Simple as that. I really don't get why everyone likes this game. It's a pile of shit. Yeah, I'm not in the mood for you. Get out of my sight. You're first to go. Get out. Yeah, shut off. Get off my back, will you? mistake. You know what? Have a catch you up. Purely because I can. The other reason being that hour I'm ready to go. I was gonna say, no ability points. Reform, regroup, start again. For now, we'll tank it. Let's go. Uh, what's with the weird guy on the side? I don't get it. What the f what the f? Let's steal something from it out of curiosity. It's got a lot of health, whatever it is. So I think for that one, what we need to do. Ah, uh, they got a flamethrower apparently, so that's going to cause problems potentially. Ow. Ah, right, that's, that's again, not exactly the most balanced move. But I have a strat for this. First of all, if you could switch out for Kimari from it. Too late to 
Beg for mercy. I hate that that timing mechanic is terrible. I hit that three effing times and not once did it get in the center. It's absolutely shocking. Both that and Lulu's, they're both crap. They don't work. Right, I'm, I'm eating you for breakfast myself, mate. Purely because you pissed me off. Fuck off, you cock. I'll need to spend some serious money after this battle. Luckily, I've got money in the bank to use, so it's not too bad. Right, okay. Hmm. I really could have done with our on him in the first move here. There's nothing I can do now. No, don't do that. Nice one. You're not flamethrowing my team anymore. That ain't happening, pal. Also, you're dying. Get off my battlefield. As for you... Get to the back of the sodden queue, where you belong. Couple of high potions, that's good. No point stealing again, it won't work. Uh, yeah, we'll go with Lou. Well then, what next? Get some experience, that's what's next. Soul armlet. Interesting. I say this is what happens when you take it when they take a healer away from you. If you take a healer away from you, it's so much tedious menu management. time pal that's right this time you're not attacking my party that ain't happening and as you're off the battlefield for a while oh come on that should have killed him what absolute horse shit what absolute fucking bollocks Yeah, you're not using your super duper special move on me anymore, pal. That ain't happening. That's okay, I can tank it. And again, this is where the game really should have rewarded you with the ability to use a save point. It's just been a very difficult fight with loads of status effects and all the kinds of crap, and then you gotta come and deal with this shite. It's all the bollocks. So 
say, they didn't, they didn't pace this out properly at all. The very least they could have done was give you a checkpoint. But again, this is the 2000s, when game design was in its really stupid transitional phase. And they, and they fought on mechanics that just don't effing work. Okay, you don't want to fight me, do you? You don't want to fight me either. Alright, there's another machina in the back there. Hang on, who's got the first move? These guys have, so they're actually quite low level. Oh, oh god, I hate the controls. The controls are doing my nothing. Wait, what? What, what in the... Oh, what's going on? Is it saying he's out of range? Right, okay. That's a problem. Ah, immune to darkness. Okay. Fundara. Hmm, surprisingly, that wasn't that effective. No mercy. I mean, we managed to close the gap at least. Hey, nicely timed. Well dodged. Very well dodged. Happy with that. That's good. Yeah. Oh, and then we overkilled it. That's annoying because um, a couple of characters missed out on experience then. Are we through the gauntlet? Is this a cutscene? Can I put my controller down? This has gone far enough. Stop. Really? No one saw her carrying that staff behind the back. Oh, seriously? Just knock it out of his hand. It's right there. He's too close to you. Just knock it out. Just knock it out and hit him with the butt of his own, own weapon. You would play at marriage just for a chance to send me? Your resolve is admirable. All the more fitting to be my lovely wife. Ugh. How sudden creepy. Stop! Do you not value your friends' lives? Just... Your actions determine their fate. No! Protect them. Or throw them away. Artida simply hit him with his own fucking gun. The it's two inches away from his yours. face. Hit him with the gun and shove it up his fucking ass. It's not hard. Well, of course, no one takes the logical route because this is a fucking game. Of course not. Right, so pick up the staff and knock it in his face. No, we're just going to sit here and mope. You are wise. Okay. So the whole thing was pointless, apparently. All that was completely pointless. Ugh, these renderers are fucking creepy. 
Yeah, that, 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 Riku, that. Go. He's mad now. He's angry. It's like, really? You've no one saw that coming. Seriously? What, what, why does no one listen to me? I am sorry, but it is for Yevon. Why does no one ever listen to me? Forbidden by Yevon. There are exceptions. Oh, of course there are. Really? <laughs> no! Don't do it. I'm not gonna shoot you, I promise. Throw down your weapons. Let them go. Or else. Man, um, standing on a legend platform heels is not a wise move. You are not Ada Wong. So punch him in the face. Look, he's right there. Leave now, please. You're coming with us. Don't worry, go. This is foolish. If you fall, you'll die. <laughs> Don't worry. I can fly. Well, that's convenient. Let me guess, Believe. you'll... You'll summon an Aeon to carry you? Is that what's going to happen? It makes sense, to be fair. Yoda! Trigger the plot armor, people. Correction, corrected. It is indeed. Cover your eyes. Ah, oh, and now we got flashbangs. Why didn't you use them when we were in the bus gauntlet? And we had all those soldiers. What, what was that? An all bed flash bomb. Let me go. I'm gonna kill that Seymour. Yuna just... said leave. We leave. Oh, is it Kimari is going? Her later. Break through. Ah. Ah. Where'd Yuni go? The Vel Palace is temple. Yuna goes to one place only. The Chamber of the Faith! It's too quiet. A trap? Who cares? Yuna's waiting for us! Huh? What's a Machina doing in the temple? I suppose it comes in handy. Or maybe... That's not what I mean! The teachings! What They're about the teachings? Lying to hey, you! Hey! Don't look at me! Honestly, most of the characters in this game have an IQ of about two. And we ran right past the save point, but can I use it? No. Game won't let me. So instead, I've got to carry on doing more running around without any option to check my progress. Yeah, that's a nice visual, isn't it, people? The, the, the swirling... Eminence. Another Machina? Man. So this is Yevon's true face. They betray their own teachings. <sighs> the 
They treated us like dirt. Uh, so, so, so Waka, um, egg whites, egg yolks. Which do you prefer? Because you got either what, either way, you've got a load of it over your face, pal. No, I'm not going to stop gloating on this. The entrance to the trials. Oh no! I not wonder enough. if Uni's really in there. Well, it'd be, it'd be fitting to be. Well, it'd be fitting to have one of those to be Let's rounding go. off tonight, wouldn't it, people? Still, it might be a chance to actually take stock and relax. Hey! So J is V, and we're now the Albed Cabigian. And I'm guessing that if you've got enough characters, that would translate to an English word. It's like, Chris, you're pointing out plot holes. I've been doing it all, all game. So at least for once I've not had to use my items to restore, we're now back to normal. And I'm going to take advantage of using the sphere grid again, because I can. We've only got the one movement here. Which gets us to an empty square, so we can't do anything, which is disappointing. Then we've got one movement with Lou. But fortuitously, we now have... Interestingly, a couple of... Ah, so we have one skill. Which is the move Demi. I think I'm going to learn that. Yes, I think I will. And then after that, we're back into the main point over here. So that's not too bad. That's okay. Can't... Uh, can I... Actually, can I take that magic point? No, I can. Excellent. Well, speed even, rather than magic, but I'll do. And then, Walker. You can move a couple of times, which is great. And then we will use an item with you. We can use one more, I think. Fantastic. Ah. Riku. You can move a couple of times here to get the skill Mug. So, fit, so steel upgrades to Mug. We can actually do damage with any orc. That's kind of helpful. And Kimari, you may as well carry on the movement, which is in this direction, I believe. Yep. Fantastic. Right, we're done here. And I will save again. It's possible they weren't there back at that time, K-Par, but I don't buy it. With the way they had the guns readily available and said there are exceptions, it suggests something else. So we do have another trial. And... Oh, we start with... Oh. That was scripted. I had nothing to do with that. Ooh. Okay, this one's like it's trying to be the ones in Final Fantasy VIII in Astar. Confirmed the... Wait, what? What do you mean, confirmed direction? Well, I can't change the direction, so I'm guessing we're going to have This is one of those levels which is going to annoy me because it's not going to have any vertical navigation. The navigation points of verticality are not going to be there. I think what you have to do is hit the...
yeah, it's not very ca it's not very intuitive. You have to like in a, in advance of each of the squares. At that point, you have to essentially collect the item so you can move it. And it tells me you've got to get a sphere here. So that tells me, yeah, we've had a change in the track by the looks of it. So hopefully that means we can now move forward. Oh, God. Yeah, these controls do not work well. Still, at least for now, we could take a bit of a breather from the relatively monotonous pursuit of enemies. Ah, uh, here we go. And this will now take us down to the next layer. Yeah, I see. And then once again, because I'm guessing there's no elevator route down... Oh, what the hell? No, no, not that way, not that way. I didn't choose that way. I chose forwards. I didn't choose. I didn't choose to the right. <laughs> what do you mean? Is there a good time for self promotion, Chris? What are you all about here? <laughs> what, what, what do you mean, self promotion? I've got. I mean, you don't want to turn me into a glory hose. I'm promoting myself, do you? Right, I'm, I'm sorry, but these controls don't make sense. I keep on pressing left to go left, and it's taking me back up to the top for no reason, and it shouldn't be. Is this where the controls have been inverted for whatever reason? And despite the camera changing, you're moving on a fixed cross, cross shape. Because if that's the case, that's horrendously designed, and it's not intuitive at all. Again, what what is it with these? What what is it with remasters of games, where they don't bother actually thinking about how they control, and how people experience them? Out of curiosity, I'm testing my fear. No, nope, it's taking me down. So, as I predicted, I wasn't able to go on the next route, and I should have been. The only advantage is I can get a new orb from here, at least. <laughs> say, do you got get it out? I would mean, say we've got plenty of time as a breather. New stream tomorrow night. More information have you got on that, then, Chris? Can't be any worse than any of the streams I do. Oh, what the hell is this camera? What is... What the hell is that? Seriously, what on earth is that? like that's not um, complete yet. So evidently there's something to connect it to one of those routes that needs to be found. Oh. Yeah, I think that's part of the problem. The cameras, have, they have fixed angles and move it around. It's weird. Okay. Let's try this route. See what's here. <laughs> well, that's awesome. If you're doing a stream tomorrow night where you'll be playing... Ah, the last starship. Uh, yeah, do nothing. I've already got two spurs equipped. You're playing the last starship, which is an early access game. You're going in blind. You're a brave person to do that. I've seen the chaos that unfolds on my streams. Now, I imagine that you're probably not as... 
agitatable as I am, to be fair. But yes, uh, uh, what, what are you doing now? You say you're doing it tomorrow night. What what are you doing here? What, what's the time frame for and everything else? Right, now that I've got that, can you get the... Yep, thank you. I can power that sphere over. Before I go there, I'm going to very quickly go back this way because there was a sphere down the next road I want to collect. Ah, so it's 8pm GMT on your channel, Chris JT. Definitely check that out, people. It'll be great fun. It'll be a good laugh. Lots of hijinks, I'm sure. And plenty of banter and interactivity. Ah, Chris JT, 1985. Sorry, I do apologise. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's always the way, isn't it? There's always someone who gets you there first. It's crazy, isn't it? There's always someone that beats you to the punch. We removed the glyph sphere. Hmm, interesting. So we've actually got a glyph sphere rather than a... That could be important. We've got two different ones. That'll be a rare night where I can sit back and relax and I can be in the um in the booth for once. Go to the right. Is it gonna let me do it? Yep, just about made it. Excellent. Okay, cool. Ah, I see. That's why I need to go there, because there's another and that's why I needed the glass for So the question is, is it going to be one of these ones or the Glyph Sphere? Let's... I'm going to try the Glyph Sphere, even though that tells me it's probably not going to do anything. I'm going to try it anyway. No, it was exactly what was needed. It opened the door. Brilliant. Oh. These controls feel really clunky. It's like, when you're trying to press up against these boxes, he keeps on running past it. There should be a button, but... but. Ah, I see. I don't think you can put... Ah, right, I get it. It's not that he's pushing past it. It's that the game, uh, because of the camera angle, I didn't realise the little up there means you can't push it. Again, check, I don't mind the switching mechanic when it's clear. You can only... Oh, there's a sphere in there. Right, hang on a second. This is... Put it down. Okay. Yeah, you can't... It was not exact... Again, of course. Because people, we don't have two of these, do we? I still don't understand that. I don't get it. Why can't you use both hands? Is Tidus really that inept? Is he really that incompetent? Right, so what's that done? Has it done anything? Doesn't seem like it. Oh no. No, Chris, don't. D don't imply that. Not, not here, not now. Just don't. No, I mean, I'm going to say, um, I, I, with, with my training, I'd sometimes classify as an athlete queen, and believe me, I'm far from the sharpest tool in the box. Oh, no, it's not going to work. We're going down. And the question is, can we do anything now? Oh, I don't want to go that way. I can't remember if there was anything this way. 
so I mean I've, I've had my issues with some of the maps in most recent games where they don't have vertical like um, verticality but in this game you don't even have a map you have nothing in this game for things like this you, you, you just stop trying to figure it out and it doesn't have when the camera goes in the wrong direction for no reason making it see there it, it, it went forward for no reason then went behind him and then went back in front of him again in less than two cuts what's the point other than to confuse the player but just because you can confuse the player doesn't mean you should yeah there's nothing here but that um thingy is the sphere so we don't want that we've already got it oh god these controls are awful I like how in some other games that feature block pushing, you either A, could see directly behind the character, or B, there was a button that you interacted with to do it. No, 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 not that way, not that way. These controls are absolutely horrendous. They just don't respond. So, every game dev out there, be advised, controls are important. Make it so they respond. Right, it won't go forward for no reason. I can't make it go forward that way. I can't do anything to do it. He simply refuses to go forward. Yeah, he, he won't go to that. He won't go down that right route, even though there's a shoot there. He won't do it, no matter what I do. It's like there's no command in place at all. And I've just realised this is the one where there's a double corridor, so this won't work. So the only thing I can think of is maybe... As much as it doesn't really make any sense... Is try to... That, that destruction sphere somewhere else. So if this carries on, I'm just going to pull up a guide. I'm not wasting my time. I, I, I've, got, I've got too much respect for myself. I don't know if there's any sphere in here. Well, that's done something. Looks like it's created a new route. Don't make sense. Don't know why the destruction sphere would do that. Destruction sphere, in fact, implies it'll break a barricade rather than create a train route. Don't quite follow the logic. Don't really care. It's working. Let's move on. Oh, so now it's letting me go down here. And watch it now be a waste of my time. And if it is, then that's fine. Because at least I've, at least I've only wasted my own time. I mean, I, I, I get the feeling it won't be, because I get the feeling I'm going to have to put something in that slot. Like, maybe... I don't, it won't be retrieved the same destruction sphere. It won't be that, because otherwise it'll break that loop, won't it? That is such a creepy camera angle as well. That doesn't help. <laughs> Might just be me. Yeah, ex exactly, Chris, you're right, it was. But it's interesting, because like, with the slot being empty and having to use the destruction sphere in the next field, 
He now makes me nervous. I'll have to somehow find my way back there and do it again. The question is whether I can. Still, there is some progress here. Oh, what in the name of... I'm guessing we can push up these stairs. Oh, there's some loot here. What's that? A HP stair. Oh, okay. We can't run on that side. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I see. Okay. Right. The question is... The only thing I can really see we can do here is either... Yeah, it looks like that's now that's now usable. Okay. So we can get some treasure, which is always a good thing. Or can we? Don't we need to use this to be able to do it? Am I missing something? Oh. I thought I'd see if there was a sphere yeah. over here, and it's taken me to this point. Inside, maybe? How did you guys then get here anyway? what are we anyway? standing here for? Nice try, kid. Uh, uh, hey! Uh, you can stuff your taboos! Maybe if Riku plants a bomb? No, Kimari can help. Okay, cool. That works. Not expensive, but it's pretty awesome. Now, what's the weird coral? Oh, well, whatever it is, Tidus is like, yeah, I'm, I'm going through it. What, what's that? A faith. They join with the summoner, and together receive the Aeon. They are human souls, imprisoned in stone by ancient Yevon rites. The dead should be allowed to rest. Yuna! Everyone, everyone who, all the shippers will start melting now, no doubt. Wait! Don't come out! Uh, why? Oh, too late, we're already out. There's the last of them. You are to stand trial. I've just been through the trials, mate. I don't need to. I expect it will be a fair trial. <laughs> <laughs> of course it will. Yeah. You can definitely trust us. And the judgment is... Death. Oh, hello. We have Bahamut. Well, that's made it all worthwhile. That's all. Oh, um, good evening, Gamelin. Nice cameo. You've turned up on my stream out of nowhere. Welcome, I guess. <laughs> Save current game. I think I will. Yes, I will. I will go over this slot here. <laughs> Don't think it was like that, Chris, but fair call. The High Court of Yevon is now in session. Fair point, Queen, yep. Yeah. We'll see what happens then. The sacred officers of this court seek nothing but absolute truth in Yevon's name. To those on trial, believe in Yevon, and speak only the truth. Yes, K-Par. Maester Kelk Ronso. Some of Phoenix, right. Check Summoner out Queen 32 Yuna. Sons Let's Plays of that game. They're great. You have sworn to protect the people of Yevon, true? Yes. Then consider. 
You have inflicted dire injury upon Maester Seymour Guado. Conspired with the Albed and joined in their insurrection. These are traitorous and unforgivable crimes that disturb the order of Yevon. Yeah, but they use guns and max, so... Tell this court what possessed you to participate in such violence. Ask Seymour, why? What possessed them? Your Grace. The real traitor is Maester Seymour. He killed his father Jiskel with his own hands. What is this? Hmm? Hadn't you heard? Oh, Not what's only that? that? No Mr. denial. Seymour is already dead. It is a summoner's sacred duty to send the souls of the departed to the far plane. Yuna was only doing her job as a summoner. Grand Maester Micah, please send Seymour now. Send the unsent to where they belong? Yes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Love the evil laugh there. Really? Send the dead? Hmm? Yeah. You would have to send me to Surprise. What? Why do you think he conspired with Seymour? Grand Maester Micah is a wise leader. Even in death, he is invaluable to Spira. <laughs> Enlightened I kind of knew that was coming to be honest. To the it was obvious. Failures of the living. Life is but a passing dream. But the death that follows is eternal. Men die, beasts die, trees die. Even continents perish. Only the power of death truly commands in spirit. Resisting its power is futile. Mom, you're doing that because you're already but fucking dead. What a sin! <laughs> I am a summoner, my lord. Like my father before me, I am on a pilgrimage to stop the death that sin brings. Are you... Are you telling me that too is futile? <sighs> Grand Maester Micah, I am not alone. Oh. All the people who have opposed sin, their battles, their sacrifices, were they all in vain? <laughs> Not in vain. No matter how many summoners give their lives, sin cannot be truly defeated. <sighs> their rebirth cannot be stopped. Because of shitty writing. Yet the courage of those who fight gives the people hope. Oh, shut the fuck up. There is nothing futile in the life and death of a summoner. Why cute fucking no? Never futile. But never ending. Apparently, because they won't get fucking sun. Mm. Indeed, that is the essence of the heaven. Lord Micah. Wow, terrible v vocal the sing then. Is embodied by eternal, unchanging continuity, Summoner. Oh, God. No. <sighs> that can't be right. Those who question these truths, they are traitors. Hey, this is just, Lord Mike. This is terrible writing. <laughs> wow. Get me out of here! I want out oh, now! Shut up, you know. You hear me? You waste your breath. Thank you, Alrod. Also, slip through those gaps! Oh, they're, the, they're the thinnest gap. They're the thickest gaps man, in history. I hope Yuna's okay. You could drive a garbage truck through that mm. without hitting the bars. She's strong. She'll make it. She'll make it. What? So she can die? 
Oh, Queen, don't say that. Do not say that. Why is it... Everything in Spira seems to revolve around people dying? Oh. <sighs> the spiral of death. Huh? Summoners challenge the bringer of death, sin, and die doing so. Guardians give their lives to protect their summoner. The faith are the souls of the dead. Even the maesters of Yevon are unsent. Spira is full of death. Only sin is reborn, and then only to bring more death. It is a cycle of death. Spiraling endlessly. Aaron sounds as fed up as I am. <sighs> the only character I can actually connect to is Aaron. He just generally doesn't give a fuck anymore. Who can blame him? Surrounded by this shite. Come out. Your sentence has been decided. Uh, yeah. Sentence? Don't you mean execution? <laughs> really now? What person would execute a dear friend? Oh, shut the hell up. You would. As if. Oh, so we're jumping into the water pool. I guess this is where our Blitzball talents like come to next. Yeah, next for what? Is this an allegory to the witch trials in the 1600s? If you come up, you're a witch Get because going. you managed to flow, but if you if you drown, you were Where's in some too late, too late. Floating down there somewhere, maybe? Well, I said before that everything's going to set on fire and we're all going to drown when I was aboard the airship. I technically wasn't wrong. Yes, yeah, so I'll pick up the phone on that one as well, people. Ooh! You made it! What's our sentence? Think they expect us to give up and die down here? Ugh, oh, well that's a lame way to kill someone. Thank you, Titus. Where's Uni? I don't know. Wonder if we should wait for her. Hmm. Let's wait at the exit. If there is an exit. Well, if there isn't, just set your charges and blow one up. How fares the Ransom Maester? It seems my father's murder troubles him. <laughs> this music reminds me of a deer in Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> you know, the sorcerer's <laughs> theme. the Ransom. Hard-headed, hardly useful. However... The Summoner Yuna, daughter to High Summoner Brasco. She may be of some use to us alive. She has disturbed the order of Yevin. So have you by dying and not she fucking off. be allowed to live. Yeah, you can somehow. Shut I don't you know. Let it go, Seymour. No one thrown into the Via Purifico has ever survived. Via Purifico? Yet, there is always a small chance that they might. Place guards at the exit. Kill any who emerge. Sir, leave that to me. Oh. First your father, now your bride. Allow me to do this because she is my bride. Oh, wow. Well, the, 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 there's, there's an allegory for relationships, people. You do not trust me? That's not age well, is it? Would you trust a man who murdered his father? Very well. As you wish. She's my bride. Let me stab her. It'll be fine. It's my right as a husband. What kind of shit Lady is you that? Forgive me. Hmm? Stone panels are scattered throughout via step on. Oh. Okay, we've had a protagonist switch. Out of nowhere. Well, there is one protagonist. Yeah, play Blitzball. Yeah, pl play Blitzball as Yuna. That could be interesting. We'll summon Bahamut and Ifrit to start smashing everybody out of the park. 
actually, yeah, that, that's actually a very good idea. Well, that's a way to make some big bliss ball entertaining. Use use ions on it. Boo! Not got any, not got any sphere items for her at all. Absolutely none. That's pathetic. Okay. Some ability to control the camera would be nice here. It has a very restrictive nature to it. Oh, I spy treasure. I'm having it. I want that loot. Give me the loot. Oh, an Alexa. Nice. Oh. I've just been top. Oh, bugger. Right. This is going to cause some problems. Okay. Let's give him a try. Let's go with the dragons. Oh okay. You have impulse. What does this do? I mean, Bahamut's wings look far too much like um, Phoenix. It's strange. It's it's not quite right. Right, I've got an indicator on the other side. Yep, there's a big fat nothing to interact with that. So what's over this way? Looks like a. Right, this time I'm going to try summoning somebody else. Let's summon... Let's summon Ixion. was not a wise move, mate. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. Let's see what I can get on this on the grid. Might as well move her forward while I can. No, I'm not gonna get anything though, that's annoying. Fine, we'll move and then we'll leave it. Not much more I can really do that. Yeah, getting the spell and then more healing and everything else, more than anything else. It's the I find this game really irritating with the way your characters progress, like with things like HP and everything else. I just find it I don't know. I, maybe I say I'm too much of an old school player. You get stronger, you get you'll you get your stat changes. Maybe even if it gave you a few put Oh, there's our own. That gives us something we can do at least. Alright. Let's, let's let's go with a free for this one. And there is a save point here as well, so that's helpful. Now, I do love the way that if free catches her on his on, on his shoulder. I think that's pretty awesome. Of course, having played Final Fantasy 16, this version of the three it just feels very strange. I 
again. Possibly overkill, but let's go for it while we can. Ah. I want to say them again. I'll there run. must be an exit somewhere. We search. Yes, we do. So I've now got someone else in the party at least, that's helpful. But the problem is I'm not going to have my fast characters who are, who are capable of attacking the winged creatures. So that's where using Eula's summoning could be useful. Right. Obviously the exit route's this way, so what is down here out of curiosity? Now we're in Crash Bandicoot mode, the camera's facing the character. Can't stand that, it's so annoying. Ah, Kimari. Except I don't have the option to use. Place. Eh, you and me both, mate. You and me both. Eh, hmm. Nah, I'm gonna go with Bahamut. weird design you've gone for battle, isn't it? What do you mean he never said it before? Yuna, sorry we left you alone. No, it's okay. And we has loot. A mega potion, we're gonna need that after all the ones I used in that bleeding boss fight, which was pretty much the kind of bullshit I've seen in another series that I've covered on this channel. Maybe not quite that level of bullshit, but not far off. So what, what did I what did I do then to get it first time? What did I do? I, I'm, I'm curious about what I could possibly have done. Nothing seems to make sense to me. I mean, I can't keep summoning, because if I do, I'm going, to, I'm going to eventually reach a point where... I'm going to have a defend, actually. Meanwhile, Kimari. Vulnerable to opposing element. Ah, oh, that's where I need elemental magic. They're vulnerable to lightning and slow on land. Okay. Even defending hasn't proven that useful there, to be honest. Still, that was good. Didn't want to do that, that's all right. I mean, the thing is, we get the same, we get, we get the same experience amount, Star Queen. If it was a case that they got totally, like, you know, higher level experiences, it'd be a different story. But as they don't, there's not much point. That hurts it. Right, well, it's what. I'm gonna go with the three and lose some of them. I don't think the figures change. Like, if you got, if you got more AP by having one person do the, the move, it'd be different, but I don't think it does. So it's, point, it's pointless farming all of it for you now. If the others are going to get the same amount anyway, all we're doing is holding them back for no reason. Ah, oh, that wasn't as powerful as I thought it was going to be. Evidently, it must be lightning which is causing damage to him. Interesting. Okay. Well, no big deal. 
Let's hit him again. We got we got the ape. We got the hay the health. Yeah, see, they all got the same amount of AP. I don't, I don't think it matters. So, it's just one of those. You might as well... Ooh, just notice that our run's low on health. So, with that in mind... I mean, to be fair, FF, FF16 kind of, like, rebalanced it. But also, you have to remember that FF16 did away with a lot of the elemental affinities, didn't it? If I found it weird fighting fire enemies with um, Ifrit and damaging them, it was bizarre, to be honest. I'm like, um, okay, no objections, but why? Oh, hello. Has that taken me back to the save point? Yes, it has. <sighs> That's annoying. Okay. No big deal. Just defend for now. <laughs> My idea is simple. If I can get our on to use an attack, I can now summon... It was Ixion was the one I wanted. Because they're vulnerable to lightning. I didn't kill it. Should have done. Purely because you pissed me off. I'm not sure it's World of Cricket to do 9999 damage to a regular grunt enemy. But you know what else? I don't think I care. I really don't. So this tells me somewhere else in this labyrinth um, awaits um, Lulu. We found Kimari. We found Auron. So that tells me we need to find Lulu. <sighs> Not these idiots. I've got better things to do in my time. I doubt it's going to work, but try it anyway. Yeah, I didn't think it would. True, they did engage in combat first. It was their fault. They didn't have to. And because you guys have annoyed me, I'm summoning my dragon. I do find it irritating that they have an enemy that's really only damageable by one or two characters in an area where you can't have those characters. That's not very well designed. If you like having enemies where you can only use like black magic and you can't use Lulu, it's like it's not really designed for that level of dungeon, is it? So again, because you've annoyed me, suck on this. Mm. 
one movement, it could get us something. I might as well do it while I can. I could use a HP sphere to level a HP up, but I'm going to keep it for now. I'm going to, I'm going to save that for now. Just to give us something. Some, some room to grow later. There should be another save point coming when I look. Where we found Aaron. Oh, we've been ambushed. Right, I'm not taking any chances. The moment I have control of unit, I'm summoning. I'm not I'm not messing around here. I am not giving them any more turns. Sorry guys, you're not getting experience. Sure. We hang in there by obliterating them and kicking them off the battlefield. And now Bahamut's overdrive is available. I'm going to be saving that in case we get a boss fight. Oh, yes. I'm being that guy. What the hell? It's because the camera changed for no reason. That's so annoying when that happens. That's really irritating. Yes. Having Bahamut's overdrive in the back pocket could be useful. Ambushed again. Oh, it's these guys who were weak to lightning, I believe. And they're actually quite tanky as well. They take a lot of damage. No, I don't want to do that. Yep, Ixion's back to full health. So the save point strategy even works with the summons. So there is a way to abuse it. Have everybody else let me make their turn, then summon. And just keep doing it. Cheap but effective. If I get the chance to fight one of them on their own again, I'd like to see if they, um, the, if I let the guys attack, if we all get 2,000, because if we don't, then maybe it'll give a unit hour a chance to catch up after all. So I'm actually tempted to consider making this a point where I stop for the night and do some offline grinding as unit, just to be able to obliterate everything, get loads of, get loads of spear gems. Now we've got a preemptive strike this time. Very helpful. Fine, in which case, use this for the sake of it. And then Kimari. And Auron. I'm out to summon Shiva, but I don't want to. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with my overkill strategy, because I can. Because if the experience isn't shared, then it'd be a chance to let you and I get ridiculous. Just by obliterating everything with um, summons. I also find it strange how you're getting summons just out of nowhere. It's like you're not actually doing any real lore to get them. And so used to games having actual massive lore. Yeah, 
Yep, see, more level ups, which is good. So yes, I think that might be something I do. So, we managed to find our way across the desert. We saw an extremely annoying assault with one of the most disorientating chants, which had no idea when to shut the F up. A boss which was the biggest load of bullshit I've seen in quite some time. And a complete farce of a trial and a wedding. Typical train wreck stream from one of mine, I suppose, isn't it, people? So, that's where we're going to wrap up for tonight. We will be back playing Final Fantasy X next Friday at 8pm GMT. On Monday, I'll be back playing Mirror's Edge properly on Monday evening at 8pm GMT. I've got a way to make that work on my PC, so I'm looking forward to playing that. And on Wednesday, we carry on the descent into madness that is with Alice at 8pm GMT. And speaking of that time, tomorrow night, of course, go to Chris's channel, ChrisJT 1985 where we're going to be playing a bit of an unusual indie title. And it sounds intriguing. Do check that out. That's tomorrow night, 8 p.m. on his channel. Well, until then, thank you all very, very much for watching. And that wedding. What the fuck was that?